welcome to On This Day in Tudor History. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII, quite late in his reign. For on this day in Tudor history, the 27th of May 1541, the frail 67-year-old Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, was executed at the Tower of London. Margaret, who was the daughter of George Duke of Clarence and Lady Isabella Neville, and the former governess of Princess Mary, had been attainted for treason in May 1539, following the arrests of several members of her family for their alleged treasonous correspondence and plotting with Margaret's son, Cardinal Reginald Pole, who'd made an enemy of King Henry VIII by speaking out against the annulment of his first marriage. Margaret firmly denied any involvement in treasonous activity, but a tunic displaying the five wounds, an emblem used in the 1536 Pilgrimage of Grace Rebellion, which had allegedly be fa been found amongst the Countess's belongings, was used as evidence against her. Strangely, it hadn't been found there when her coffers were searched in November 1538. Hmm. Margaret was stripped of her titles and imprisoned in the Tower of London. She was looked after well in the Tower, with Henry VIII paying for her food, clothing and a woman to attend her. However, things suddenly changed in May 1541, when a decision was made to execute her. It is not clear whether the decision had anything to do with diplomats Sir Thomas Wyatt the Elder and Sir John Wallop being accused of corresponding with Margaret's son, the Cardinal, or whether it was more to do with the campaign to clear the Tower of Traitors before the Feast of St John, which French ambassador Marillac recorded. Henry VIII and his fifth wife Catherine Howard were also due to set off on their royal progress to the north, so it may have had something to do with that too. Whatever the case, on this day in 1541, Margaret was given a private execution within the confines of the Tower of London. Eustace Chapuis, the imperial ambassador, recorded the Countess's botched execution in a letter to the Queen of Hungary. About the same time, the very strange and lamentable execution of Madame de Salisbury, the daughter of the Duke of Clarence and mother of Cardinal Pole, took place at the Tower in the presence of the Lord Mayor of London and about 150 persons more. At first, when the sentence of death was made known to her, she found the thing very strange, not knowing of what crime she was accused, nor how she'd been sentenced. But at last, perceiving that there was no remedy and that die she must, she went out of the dungeon where she was detained and walked towards the midst of the space in front of the tower, where there was no scaffold erected, nor anything except a small block. Arrived there, after commending her soul to her creator, she asked those present to pray for the king, the queen, the prince and the princess, to all of whom she wished to be particularly commended, and more especially to the latter, whose godmother she had been. She sent her blessing to her and begged also for hers, after which words she was told to make haste and place her neck on the block, which she did. But as the ordinary executor of justice was absent doing his work in the north, a wretched and blundering youth was chosen, who literally hacked her head and shoulders to pieces in the most pitiful manner. Ugh, how awful. Another story told in the 17th century by Lord Herbert of Cherbury tells of how when the executioner commanded Margaret to place her head on the block, Margaret refused and cried out, so should traitors do, and I am none. Margaret then kept turning her head every way, and according to Herbert, she bit him if he would have her head to get it as he could. This was later embellished to have Margaret running around pursued by her executioner, who hacked at her until she was dead. This needs to be taken with a pinch of salt, as Herbert was writing a century later, and Margaret, like others before and after her, would have wanted to make a good end, a dignified death. The gruesome story, though, has led to claims that on the anniversary of her death, Margaret's tormented ghost can be seen at the Tower of London, reliving her final horrific moments. 
Margaret was laid to rest in the chapel of St. Peter Ad Vincula at the Tower of London. And she was beatified by Pope Leo XIII in 1886. So she's Blessed Margaret Pole. Also on this day in history, the 27th of May, 1537, there were celebrations in England for the pregnancy of Queen Jane Seymour. Find out more in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Now I would ask you if you haven't done so already to please subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button there. You can leave a comment and give me a like and you can also hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any videos going live. Take care, see you tomorrow, bye bye.